Good morning, my brother. Welcome to your Daily Grip on God's Word. Really good to be back with you. I'm excited. It's been awesome to see Joey, Steve, Brian bringing the Daily Grip. I just I love getting their perspectives. I love seeing the comments. If you're commenting on YouTube, keep it up. But also know that we're in a migration. When, what I mean by that is you'll continue to see in his grip daily the daily grip on youtube but we're migrating it onto the in script app so if you have not yet downloaded the app please do it's free we'll always keep it free we're updating it ongoing but we're finding is if there's times with youtube that they're going to put ads to the side knowing that we are men and we're really going to be just one click away from stupid of following a really unhealthy path so the app gives us our platform, our content, no ads, and we believe it's just building that safe environment for all of us. And I know I need that. So that's where the migration is happening. We'll always use the YouTube channel out there to kind of go wide. And our goal is to draw them into this community uh, that will be through the app and even through the website. Okay, so hope that helps explanation wise. Today, uh, I get to start us out with Psalm 56, and I'm going to take us through the next few days all the way through 61. A unique experience today as I just follow the grip. My G is going to be three verses, verse 4, and also verses 10 and 11. Very seldom do I jump uh, out like that, but you'll see why. Because my, my title is, When God Repeats Himself, Take Notice. So here we go. First of all, verse 4, my G. In God, whose word I praise, in God I trust and not afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? Question mark. Now I'm going to jump to verses 10 and 11. In God, whose word I praise, in the Lord, whose word I praise, in God I trust and am not afraid. What can man do to me? Question mark. All right, that's kind of where you see my title of when God repeats himself, we probably should take notice. R, seeing both of these verses really made me pause. There's that T word again. Trust is a key component in any relationship. It is mentioned frequently in the Bible and is it's essential for building strong relationships. Trust, in my opinion, is the most important, is most important in our personal relationships especially in our family, friends, and others. So my implementation, I'm just going to tag off that. My first trust must be in the Lord with all my heart. To live a life worthy to earn the trust of others. First and foremost, that God can trust me. And then, of course, then Leslie and Micah. My prayer is, Lord, you are so worthy to put all my trust into you. I pray that you can trust me with expanding the Inuscript ministry with a role as being Leslie's husband and also as a role as Micah's father. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys. Hey, really good to be on this journey with you. And I want to just pause for a moment. If you're saying, gosh, Scott, um, all I'm really doing is I'm just praying for the ministry. Can we pause just for a moment? For me and to you, my brother, I'm looking you straight in the eye from my heart to your heart. This ministry has to be bathed in prayer. It has to be covered. I, I sense the expansion happening, that God's gonna be taking us to places that only he can. In order for him to do that, this has to be bathed in prayer. So when you say maybe to yourself, all I'm doing is really just praying over the ministry. Know that that is mission critical. I'll actually move it up to the top, most important, that we pray over the ministry, over the people in the ministry, pray of where God's taking it to guide and direct our steps for wisdom, discernment, knowledge, all of that. Please keep praying, and I thank you in advance because I just know that it has to be foundational. All right, let me pray us out. Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for these uh, repetitive messages in Psalm 56 through verses 10 and 11 and also up in four. Lord, um, trust is a big thing. And Lord, I, I pray that you can trust me, um, trust our brothers here that are part of Anna's grip, that 
Lord, you can do things from heaven that are penned by your hands that only you can do. And God, I pray that you are able to trust the ministry of Innis Grip, the people you're bringing around it, to take it to those places where man will say there's no way an organization could do something like that. But because you're authoring it, Lord, all things are possible. Do the miraculous, Jesus. Do what you're famous for. We pray this in your name. Amen and amen. God bless you guys. I will see you first thing in the morning.